don't know what you've done. My death will not free Midgard. You are still a slave, child of Fenrir. So the great warrior knelt before Freya and asked for his mortal freedom and the chance to claim his rightful place in Valhalla, but she refused him. Skarim was greatly angered by Freya's words, and in that moment he knew that his bonds to the gods of Asgard would be the bonds of all mankind. The warrior looked towards the chains of Fenrir, and he TORE THEM APART! And so the long winter came upon Midgard, and for many years man endured the wind, the snow, and the ice. But endure they did. And when the thaw came, it brought with it fresh life, born into a new world. A world in which man decided his own fate, built his own Valhalla. And what of those divine beings? As foretold, they fell with the coming of Ragnarok. But they did not die in the mortal sense. Their essence is still here, in the shadows, in the sunlight, the falling leaves, the breaking waves. 